What up YouTube, your boy Mr. This Gaming here today. I've got a little Apple update for you. As expected on a uh, Friday now, we have got the uh, UK airport. Um, so very, very good big day, really. It's the first airport's summer operations. Uh, everything's relatively back to normal. The main operators are now, well, operating uh, out of the airport. So it's a very, very good day for the airport indeed. Um, so, the time is approximately half past six in the morning, so it's very early operations. Uh, it's kind of like the first wave as such. So arriving in from Doha, we have the Qatar Airways Airbus A350-900 in the One World colour scheme. And it's probably one of my favourite 350 liveries, uh, the One World. It's just a bit, it's basic, but yet effective. Um, moving on, in the background, we have just arriving in from JFK, we have the morning Virgin Atlantic A350-1000, which will be heading into that gate straight ahead. And next up, just boarding for the morning service. Uh, there's only three services today uh, on this route. This is the City Flyer uh, kind of shuttle hop from up here in the lakes to London City, as uh, so that's operating right dead early in the morning, and then about lunchtime, and then kind of well, mid afternoon, I should say, one o'clock ish, then uh, departs and then comes back. There's another back and forth about six, seven o'clock in the evening. Then, next up, we have the City Flyer. E190, this will be operating the flight out to Ibiza. So Ibiza operates daily, then it's either met by a Rotterdam, sorry, uh, not daily, five times a week, but it's met by either Rotterdam, uh, Florence, or what was the other route? Managua, I believe. I can't quite remember um, the routes for the city flyers. So next up. Got the Airbus A321 Jet 2, so Jet 2 are the new operator uh, for the airport, and they've got two aircraft with Pince a uh, third in talks. So they just kind of saw the schedule for the third. And uh, we have got the 321 based and also the 737 800. So the A321 is heading down to. Oh, I should have really sorted out the schedule before I started. Um, Oh, mine's gone blank. Uh, heading down to Mahon, and then the 737 next door is heading down to Girona. Then EasyJet, also full operations now. Well, not full, but uh, higher operations. So the Airbus A320 is the first aircraft to depart out the airport this morning. Uh, and this is going down, sorry, this one's heading to Belfast. Then the EasyJet A321neo is heading to Malaga. And in the background, we have the TUI 737-800. Uh, and this is operating to Rhodes. And finally, two more aircraft. Very quick update. Apologies once again. Still not full operation, so it's not particularly busy uh, at this moment in time. But loading up. Uh, going off to Charles de Gaulle, we have the FedEx 757, so this aircraft isn't actually permanently based at the airport, it kind of does an overnighter, then returns uh, to its base. And then behind it we've got the FedEx feeder ATR42, and this is going down to Stansted. So, I'd like to apologise once again for the quickness of the update. Uh, this time of the morning there isn't really too many operations. Uh, the main tour to the airport at the moment is to have, as I said earlier, to have Jet 2, another aircraft base, uh, which will be another 737. And then TUI have also been, I've noticed this in real world, been using uh, a 787 for a couple flights out of Manchester. So there is the potential of them bringing forward the uh, 787 operations yeah, to the lakes. Um, but once again, the schedule's yet to be seen. We don't really want a one scheduled day, uh, a one kind of sector, sector's the word? Uh, one kind of there and back a day on each aircraft. It's a bit wasteful for the, for the space, but 
uh, something to sit and talk with because of course space at the airport is still relatively valuable uh, for during the day um, so other aircraft and airlines can still operate at the airport but that's pretty much it it's uh, nice to see airlines coming now of course new based airlines which is always good to see and um, yeah today marks the first summer that the airport's had because unfortunately the airport wasn't built uh, before the end of last summer it kind of came about in November time just in time for winter so we've only ever seen uh, winter operations so I'd like to thank you again for watching the update and uh, apologies it's a short one but I'm sure we'll get there um, please check out the Australian airport update which still hasn't changed well it's only been a day since I recorded it but um, thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoy the update and hopefully I'll see you again in the next video Adios and good